The Army Enlisted Medical Corps has been training combat medics and dropping them into dangerous places for 129 years. And for some, that could be the most rewarding part of the job. Here in Korea, soldiers in the combat medic MOS have the opportunity to share training experiences as well as tactics and procedures with their Korean counterparts. The exercise today began with our QRF responding to a base attack, which resulted in a mass casualty and then culminated with a medevac operation. It was a combined effort throughout each phase, which allowed both 652-ADA and 10th Fighter Wing to rehearse force protection measures and life-saving procedures uh, during contingency operations. Training alongside a foreign service may be difficult, but it also broadens one's perspective and bridges gaps in communication. I thought this exercise went well. It was a success. The 10th Fighter Wings came and supported. Uh, the medics did phenomenal, just exactly how they did you know, from the training. Um, I had no issue with the communications. Uh, we had all the equipment we need, and we had all the supports we need. So overall, I think it was a big success. These types of exercises allow soldiers to get familiar with their equipment, the soldier standing right next to them, and also prepares them for life on the battlefield. Right foot, amputation, uh, we pushed ketamine. I noticed that my soldiers, they never even seen a helicopter. I was happy to see that they could train up on that and learn how to load patients. When I was in Afghanistan, we worked on a flight line very similar to this, except I had access to it. We had a lot of incoming, and we had patients that had giant scrapes on their face from the rotors. So I'm glad they were able to learn this so that they don't have dangers in the future. When in operation mode, dangers from your own equipment should be your last worry. And this training is the first step in that direction. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Isaac Garden from Suwon Air Base, Korea.